Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I do apologise. I don't know where that came from. Um, this is your WTF reading for the latter part of January. Um, if you like what I do, Darlings, hit that like button. Share if you've got the time. But subscribe and hit the bell beside it so you get notified of when I'm doing readings. Now, I will promote all of the special readings like the Christmas readings, the New Year's readings, Valentine's readings will be promoted. But the readings in between, I don't promote them as much because they are my week or fortnightly readings that I do for everybody. They are a collective reading so that they are not um, an individual reading. But always check your other placements. And I know that sounds a bit of a crock because everybody tells you to do that. But the placements that I like you to look at are your rising, uh, your moon sign and your north node. Important to know those ones. Um, so, my lovelies, let me just get some... I didn't even notice the candles. I knew I'd thrown the old ones out. Let's just get these lit for you. So there's some intention and good energy around. Thank you. Wouldn't be the ideal time to run out of gas in the lighter, would it? Very nice. So yeah, the Valentine's readings will be going up. Um the beginning part of February um, so let's let's get on with your reading let's do you an energy card to start with I've continued with this deck I still don't know what it's called but it's beautiful um, so can I have an energy card please for Libra for the latter part of January nice this one comes out such a lot and it is so cute and yes i have um diffused the cards i've blessed them i've charged them i've done all of that and out comes happy poppet i am enough what is telling you that you're not enough what is it that you need to do for yourself your own energy to love your own heart to love yourself you are more than enough in fact darlings listen you are the answer to most people, people's prayers. We can't be 100% the answer to everybody's prayers. That would be ridiculous and impossible. But the majority of people that are around you, you are the answer to their prayers. Even if they say you're not. Even if they say you're not. Literally, you are enough. You're more than enough. Um, the number of that card as well. Is 16 it's the seven options choices and blessings lovelies just know that when you've got a seven card the option is to believe you are enough the choice is to believe that you are enough and the blessing is to really know that just accept it do you know i was i think i was 56 before i realized people liked me what a waste of 56 years. I honestly thought that people didn't like me. And that was because one person who was who should have been, one, a protector, and two, I should have been really close with all through my life, had told me the exact opposite. Nobody likes you, nobody wants you around. Um, so just know it is really easy to be damaged, hurt and wounded by the words of those people that are supposed to love us. And I have to say that is probably one of the reasons why I don't always prescribe to family being blood related. Sometimes it is the people that you choose to have around you that actually slowly but surely prove the one person in your life that should have been there for you um, absolutely wrong but you are more i love that card i love that little girl she is just adorable isn't she and look at this little heart cushion that she's 
really hugging and holding on to. Did you have to, as a little one, find um, comfort elsewhere? Um, the arms that should have held you probably didn't. Yeah, but you are darlings. You're more than labourer. You're a labourer. Of course, you're enough. Your scales bring in balance and justice. You know, you can free people's labyrinths. You can just clear the maze for people to get through it. You know, if you send out a message, you send it out clearly. There's no in between with you. It's either in or it's out. We all know what it's like. It takes a long time to jump out of something. It really does because we have this innate nature that tells us, is there one more chance? Is there... Is there one more dance to have out of this? Sometimes the answer is no, darlings. It really is. So, my lovelies, I've got that bloody big light on again. What started your work for? Oh, nice. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Really nice. Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Movement and journey. about the situation labor this is a nice reading what's out of your hands Reconnecting to your true self, Libra. Thank you. Your outcome. Wow. Okay. All nice. So, Libra, latter part of January. The wheel of the year the ending of a major cycle it is behind you whatever this is you've left it behind in 2023 but the luck of this you've brought it forward with you very nice it's a number 10 it's completion and what do I say about completions where there's completion there has to be a new beginning so beginning of a cycle, beginning of a new year, leaving old things behind you and having a brand new perspective on everything that's around you. A bird's eye view, if you will. Very nice. So, Seven of Pentacles, options, choices and blessings. There may be a lot of options. This is facing your fears and taking your power back. So facing your fears. I do get that some of you believe that you really are not good enough. That you quite surprised that you have even got to the craftsman level of whatever it is you do. You don't have to carve wood. It could be anything. You know, perhaps you're just really surprised that you've got to the level where you've got to. And probably quite quickly as well. So, with the craftsman, I distinctly got, it's a confidence thing. Now, this is about your money, your finances, your home life, maybe work-life balance, all of that, but definitely around your career. They're saying you have now achieved the craftsman. There are going to be more options, choices, and blessings 
coming in towards you to give you the opportunity to get to the master craftsman it's not a big step the seven to the eight is not a big step but you have got to be able to face that fear that you are good enough you are proving yourself you are being noticed where you are because you are diligent you are looking after things you are crossing the t's and dotting the r's you usually get that muddled up but taking your power back is taking those opportunities as they arise taking those opportunities as they present themselves and taking all of those opportunities not just one not just two but all of them all of the opportunities as they come up if somebody asks you to do something don't be scared of saying yes don't over stretch yourself of course not but don't be afraid of saying yes somebody is seeing your talent for what it truly is libra and libra all libras are multi-talented we are we bring if our scales are in balance we bring in such an air of um confidence with us but we don't see it for ourselves that's crazy isn't it that other people see it and have confidence in us but then we don't see it and we don't have confidence in ourselves so go figure so your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked and it is fucked and it is your thinking that's doing this. You've got the five of pentacles. Now for me, this is a transition card between the not having and the having. You've got more now than you've ever had in your life. Now that doesn't mean that you're rich and well off, but it does mean that you are meeting your obligations. I have to say, sitting out on a bench in the cold it's not the best place to be get piles for a start off however there is something that you're not seeing there is something just around you that is going to help you with your career with your finances and with your home life and it is around you but it's out just slightly out of you but being transitional that's what we all do when we're in the middle of a transition we can't see coming out the other side of it and i do get that times have been really hard and you have prayed manifested whatever it is that you do for changing circumstances now i've heard people say this is the depression card it's not for me it's my blankie card it's i want my blankie and i want everybody else to bugger off i don't want to deal with people i don't want to be around people i just want to be in a dark room i don't want to be bothered and the moon's going oh hell freaking no uh-uh no you're not getting away with this i'm illuminating you i am illuminating you because you are the answer you are the option there's a nice little bat outside the window trying to say to you, come on, look at, look at the window, look at the moon. It is illuminating for you a pathway forward. Please be aware of that as you are doing manifestations, not to use negative terminology and not to cancel your manifestations. If you say you want something, just say you want something. Don't sit there and go, well, I'd like a new car, but I can't afford it. You've cancelled it. I'd like a new home, but the buts are cancelled. It's a button. The but is a button and it's a cancellation button. Stop using buts. If buts, ands and maybes, don't use them. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Just know that you have got a nine here and a six here. A five here, sorry. Add the two together, gives you 14 comes to another five so you add the five and the five together this is coming to a completion you're leaving it behind in 29 in 2019 so what happened in 2019 that was relevant for you that i'll tell you what they're doing this to me all the time at the moment in 2019 something significant happened for you libra um and i'm kind of getting that it released you from a bind that was holding you back um, but you are still in shadow of dealing with that 
2024 is going to give you the option with the number eight because it is a number eight year it's going to give you the option of solid and clear communication to be able to communicate with the universe with your divine whoever it is you believe in and people that you are ready to rejoin life that you are ready to bite the bullet and just see your worth you need to see your what you're not seeing it you're not seeing it and it's upsetting you don't manifest your way into this manifest your way out of this you know don't look at the five as a destitute card look at the five as a transition like i say none of us see the end result in the transition and you may have gone and put yourself out in the cold for a very good reason. But there was no need to cut everybody out. Bad experiences leave bitter tastes in their mouths. But the moment we decide that that's not going to be the way it is, the moment we decide that the healing that we've done has now repaired us and we're ready to literally move on with our lives, this will just dissolve and go away do you know i was going to clarify that for you hold on a second let's see if we can use another deck this is the um good something deck from colette barrowade absolutely love it let's just clarify be handy clarify the five and Five of Pentacles and the Nine of the Famous Place. The Manifestation card. Thank you, Queen of Water. It's healing. It's healing and learning to deal with things in a different way. The Queen of Water, she immerses herself in water because she knows the healing properties, especially the oceans where they've got minerals and everything in it. She also knows that the water that we shower in or bath in just adds extra to us we are nine what is it 79 percent water so just know that when you go and stand in the shadow um shadow shower it's not just about cleansing away the dirt and the grime it's also adding to our ability to stay hydrated but it's also taking away the negativity with it as you watch that water go down the drain you see the negative stuff go with it she's also known as the queen of diversion and that's not because she diverts and shies away from issues and problems she doesn't she diverts herself away because she wants to deal with things in a different way and that's possibly how you're feeling right now is that you want to deal with this in your own way in a different way there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that very nice so my darlings movement journey where the fuck you need to be you've got the lady and the lord it's a number six card these come in even stevens they are hunter gatherers together they are partners together now this could be a loving caring relationship um a life partner relationship if you will it could be a partnership with somebody else that you really dearly love there is a decision to be made and you had you need to make that together and not apart and if the other party shies away from making that decision then don't you make that decision until they're ready to but you do need to push the issue because this decision will tip the scales from a five to a six and the sixes are much nicer to deal with So what can you do about this situation? What can you do about this energy that you're dealing with? You've got 17. So number eight is the communication card and you've got the star. Now in the water is this fairy in the eternal waters. And she's saying step into the waters and heal. It's not one and done. This is a continual journey that we all have to remind ourselves that we are healing all the time from different things because we may feel that we've healed from a certain situation and then something rears its head and reminds us and throws us straight back to where we were and she's saying come on do it continually it won't hurt 
you can take healing into the next lifetime. You have certainly brought healing in from the last lifetime. Um, and then as you heal, as you repair and you move away the debris from what's holding you back, your star, your manifestation brings in so much abundance for you, unreal amount of abundance. It gets bigger and brighter and it shines a light on what it is that you want out of life. And I have to say that if you take that on board and you see that healing and repair work actually clears the deck to allow new things to come in and grow, your whole attitude around this manifestation will change. Nice. So what can't you do anything about what is the universe helping you with? Oh my God, Libra. They're bringing in somebody towards you, male or female. The King of Pentacles is here. A very happy, um, stable energy, a, a father figure or mother figure, um, family orientated person, draws energy down from the goddess and is, has the ability and is ready to to invest now they can be invested in money career and home life they're family orientated they will invest in their kingdom as they see their kingdom now their kingdom could be huge ceo director that sort of thing they could also be the investor into their small little family unit or both even but in comes this person now I will say that it depicts Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, however, when I laid this card down, I heard them distinct, distinctly say, doesn't have to be those star signs, just because this person has been, it, seen it and done it, and they've seen the benefits of sitting in this energy, rather than any other energy. So just know that this person could be one of the other star signs, but because of their life's experiences and their life's work that they are able to bring in this energy and represent themselves as being something different you're looking at different they're looking at different and what they're offering you is stability comfort love everything that everybody's ever wanted is wrapped up in this king so yes, it could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but remember there's 12 houses and the possibility of them having a bit of earth sign that is quite relevant to how they are presenting is very likely. I know from my chart that I've got very little in the way of earth. I'm very rarely grounded, ever, if ever. But this person will be, they will have significant earth signs within their chart. And I'm not saying one, they could be all three. Just know this person is around you. The universe is trying to pave the way for this person to come in towards you. Now, it could be somebody who's going to help you with your career. It could be somebody that's going to help you with your investments. It could be somebody that's going to help you sort out your home life could be a life partner it could be all three of those things but just be aware that the universe is working really hard to bring this person in towards you that's huge libra i'm really excited oh for those of you that are new that don't know i am libra with gemini rising and i my moon is in cancer and my and my north node is leo so as you can see in the major ones there is no earth i'm either up in the air or drowning or just firing it all up so reconnecting to your true self allow yourself as the little page of a thamus now this is you going back in time to when you was younger when you kind of realized that this wasn't the truth you knew it wasn't the truth, but as you got older, you started to believe it. Um, you were able to draw the energy down from the universe. Now, whether that was through prayer petition, whether it was just walking and kicking and scuffing your shoes in the woodland or along a pavement, it doesn't matter how you knew, 
you just knew and there could have been connections for me for you from the spirit world quite significant connections as well so the candle for intention is there you knew about intention when you was really young but you didn't have the terminology to know that's what it was but it says that you had knowledge and wisdom way beyond your years way beyond your years and even at a young age, you was able to use your knowledge and wisdom and apply it to situations that the moon illuminated for you. The moon wants you to go back there. The moon wants you to grab that energy and say, look, I'm still fucking illuminating for you. Oh, it was an F-bomb. Still illuminating for you. Still trying to show you this way of dealing with things. It's okay to go back to innocence. Oh, my goodness. Ten of chalices and it comes completion of happiness in comes the happiness it is complete it is happy you're happy for the first time in your life with you your lot and what's going on around you much more stable energy after you realize that it's okay to be you that you are enough putting down and you know how I feel about the tens. Where there's a ten, it's a completion. There has to be a new beginning. So I kind of get that this may be a brand new relationship for you. This is a loving, caring relationship with this gorgeous king coming in. Libra, you know I don't do love readings, but there are some times you just cannot not say it if it's on the cards. And it's on the fucking cards. Here's a ten that's coming in it's a completion you're going to feel so happy once you're happy with yourself and you see what the what that brings you are going to allow this new chalice to come in the new chalice where it is full up and you are going to share your full chalice with somebody else who's got a full chalice simple then right in behind that you've got the ten of wands again a completion card so in comes the ten of wands you've been carrying burdens for other people for so fucking long you've actually forgotten that they're not your burdens put them down chuck them back down the mountain because where you need to be is up here in this stone circle where there is protection love and light for you because the new beginning that's coming in with the ace of wands after the ten of pentacles is finished is going to be passion desire projects plans people all of that but coupled with this card i'm going to say this is going to be loving and caring but it's going to be fucking passionate as well this person may actually come in and show you how to put those burdens down once and for all how to put down what ails you how to put down the ability of other people to just have a go at you for the sake of having a go at you um and that's a burden isn't it that is a burden that you carry from somebody else that's not how you feel that's how other people feel and when that comes towards you you should be handing that back to somebody else you should be saying that's not my energy i'm not dealing with this i'm handing it back to you so that's what they want you to be aware of so your outcome is the ten of pentacles so not only got the ten of chalices there oh my god libra you have got happiness 101 heading your way look at this garden full of cherry blossoms i am going to say darlings that i think that we're heading towards the spring because you've got a lot of wintry cards here uh mid middle kind of cards here but you've got a lot of spring and summer cards here and the cherry blossom would indicate that it's spring that this is going to spring up from uh, ten of pentacles completion of a happy family the generations coming together for the generations in order to either look after somebody older or somebody young who's fledging for the first time but there is a lot of magic in this garden to be had a lot of happiness to be had money will be no object i'm not going to say that you're going to win the lottery or anything but you are going to be more comfortable than you have ever been um your career is going to be stable and it is going to show you that you are you are enough you are the one and your home life is going to be settled and happy now the new beginning from this the ace of pentacles could possibly mean 
that there is going to be a shift or a move so if you're temporary working you could go into permanent working if you are working in a job that you think is a stepping stone you will get the opportunity to step up from that stepping stone um your finances will be much better the bills are being paid on time in good time you may even be able to get ahead of the game a little bit um but there's you know there's there's plenty to be going around but your home life in particular is just going to take a massive turn and it does seem to me that there could be a movement in your investments and your investment could move from the family you've got around you now into this new relationship into a new phase of family where you are moving on to a new beautiful future wow libra my goodness and what oh crikey okay so we've got three tens here three completions and you started with the wheel of fortune another ten that's that's four tens that is four tens so massive completing a cycle out and allowing new stuff to come in at long fucking last i should say 20 so number two in comes the harvest and i have to say when i saw the harvest i thought yeah it makes sense the harvest is just going to come in you're going to be content there's going to be plenty to share and i was like well who are they going to share it with and right underneath the harvest is the two of chalices and just a little bit further away, you have a hat trick. Just a little bit further down the line. Libra, you can have a completion of all your issues and problems. They're going to go. There's no doubt about it. You will know how to deal with everything because you've already done it. You've seen it, done it on all of the rest of it. And because of that completion coming in and doing a hat trick, I have to say, when you do um like the tens and it adds like the three tens is 30 that 10 makes it 40. um what pops into my mind is the number 44 and the higher you get the more close to the divine there is so i think that there may be a spiritual shift for you as well in amongst this huge spiritual shift um as well as a huge shift into the relationship that you've always wanted oh i'm excited see what the angels and ancestors have got to say i have to say i don't do love readings but it is clear that this person is going to bring so much joy into your life that if they're not a life partner i don't know what would be the equivalent to someone being um a friend or whatever i suppose a soulmate would be the best explanation of that it's beautiful what a lovely reading. Can I have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Libra, please? Wow. I just realised the cards you've already got. Is there anything else for Libra or is that the message? Thank you. So at least we've got one more. Okay. So the first card that came out was winter. Take care of your needs. We're just coming out of this winter. The last part of the winter will be the will be February. Take care of your needs. Now we've had chalices come up, water cards come up, and definitely, definitely, that makes me feel that you need to take care of your needs a lot better than you have been. But it also means that when you take care of your needs and you do this healing that you will be able to leave a lot of 2023 behind you as a lesson learned i think it's that like that for everybody to be honest 
animal guardian trust your instincts let me tell you look at this card there is an owl there is a crow there is a panther there is a deer trust your instincts go with your gut feeling my darlings it will never let you down your intuition is your gut feeling that initial feeling that we get around something or somebody that tells us whether they're good bad or indifferent use that initial feeling before your thinking brain kicks in it's important darlings wherever you are in the world please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now